Here's a question for you. Can you take regular light and focus it somehow and so that it becomes laser light into a tight beam like a laser? Well, the answer is no, and that's because laser light, even though it's made of photons, is very different than regular light that comes out of a light bulb. Let's talk about why. So laser light can be focused into a very narrow beam, and we've all seen pictures of lasers burning through objects, right? And you can also take sunlight with a magnifying glass and you can focus it down to a very small point and it can also burn objects. So that's why people think you can sort of focus regular light and it somehow becomes laser light. That's not the case, and I'd like to talk about the differences. Now laser stands for light amplification, by the stimulated emission of radiation, L-A-S-E-R. Stimulated emission of radiation, radiation being photons. So the main thing here is that laser light is from the stimulated or the emission from electrons bouncing around in the atoms there in a stimulated way. In other words, there's sort of like a chain reaction of photons triggering other electrons to decay back down and release photons. And so they can be amplified and focused and that's what a laser is. But the number one thing about laser light that really distinguishes it from regular light, like a light bulb or from the sun, is that laser light is what we say is coherent. That's the big difference. Whereas light from a light bulb or from the sun or anything else is what's called non-coherent. It's a random wavelengths all mixed together. That's like the colors of the rainbow, for instance. And the crest and the troughs of the electric and the magnetic fields inside of the light itself, they're not lined up at all. And so it's all random directions, random wavelengths. If nothing's really aligned, that's what regular light is. But in a laser, it's very highly coherent, where the peaks and the troughs of the waves are lined up, everything is very aligned and focused, and that's why it's able to do the things that lasers can do. The first kind of coherence is called temporal coherence, and that just means that the wavelengths emitted by the laser itself are very, very narrow. It's not a bunch of different wavelengths. Ideally, it would be a single wavelength. In reality, lasers produce wavelengths that are very, very narrow bandwidth. In other words, very slight deviations in the wavelength which means all the same color. There's also spatial coherence and electric polarization coherence. That means that the electric fields of the waves themselves are lined up across the beam and the crest and the troughs are all lined up in the resonant cavity of the laser before it's emitted. So these are the main reasons why you can't focus regular light into a laser beam no matter how hard you try because regular light is not coherent and lasers are. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.